The fire burned for hours. Williams Jr. home is on fire. The 911 calls came in quickly. It looks like it's coming out of the uh, crematorium. Williams Funeral Home has been open since 1935, but it was no match for the flames. You know, part of our lives burned up in that landmark. Owner Alan Blevins says it has been an emotional week watching fire destroy their building and scrambling to maintain the business. Then a family friend came forward with a new building. She came over and offered her building to us and handed me the keys. Movers were busy at the old Blythewood mansion today. The funeral home is getting settled in its temporary home. There's even a new sign out front announcing their arrival. Anyone's got any needs or we can still meet them 100%. Amazingly, nearly 80 years of files were salvaged from the fire, including pre-planned funeral arrangements. All of that history is still intact. It's hard to believe how quickly Williams is bouncing back. Even as the old building sits in ashes, contractors are making plans to rebuild. Inside Blythewood this afternoon, the first family arrived to make final arrangements. As tra traumatic as it has been, it's, it's been a blessing in, in, uh, with all the friends that we have, uh, and support we have received. Alan Blevins credits hard work from his employees and the kindness of Columbia's citizens. It's the most difficult period in Williams' long history, but he can't help but think the funeral home will be better for it. There must have been a reason for it, and I'm just going to go with that. In Columbia, John Dunn, Fox 17 News.